Hi there. My name is James. And today we're going to stare very vigorously into the air at our victory. Yes, you're damn right. I'm going to do a few more episodes. See how we feel. Because so many of you have asked for more, I will do more. And I will see how it goes. Why not? Um, this is the furthest we've pretty much ever gotten. Because I didn't do an episode after Alduin on the original orc, Grobro Nabigirl. Um, and yes. So, why don't we try some Dawnguard? Why don't we try some Dragonborn? Why don't we see how we feel? I could stop in five episodes, who knows? I've done my goal. I've achieved my 2022 Legendary playthrough. Is it the final playthrough? No. Will there be more? Yeah. Are you seeing this pre-recorded? Yeah, you are. Because guess what? Your boy here isn't even in Ireland anymore. He's in Germany because he has gone to spend a week on holidays because he hasn't been on holidays in a very long time. So um, so when you're seeing this, how long after? Who knows? All I know is that uh, I'm talking to you from the past. This is not future James, but past James. And um, <clears throat> basically how this will work is I have a bunch of episodes scheduled to come out. They're all set up. Yes, I did it. I made sure this time I put in the fucking effort because I told you I won't let you guys down again. And uh, there could be one every two days. There could be one every day. Depends on how many I can make of these. Um, I don't have much of a plan anymore. I have a rough idea of what I want to do in the game. But only a rough idea. Because I've achieved my goal. Uh, now we got to make some new goals. Become stronger. And take on even bigger and badder bosses. As a legendary orc, I am also completely recovered from COVID, touch wood. Uh, so thank you everyone for all your nice wishes. Thank you everyone for the watching the 18 episodes if you did. Uh, some of you are still catching up, which is okay. Uh, ever since that debacle where I uploaded two episodes in one day, a lot of people fell behind. But it's okay, because here you are now. It's been a few days. And I appreciate all of you. You're so cool. Did you know that? You're very cool. So, let's begin the second phase of our adventure, my friends. We have a lot to do. And a lot of time to do it. So, why don't we start off with a feckin' warm-up. We, if I'm not mistaken, uh, didn't, never mind, get a letter from a friend. I thought we did, never mind. I think we got that one last time. Uh, but what we can do is we can make our way over to Dongard, Fort Dongard, and we can start it up and we can see how we're feeling. Uh, remember, guys, if you have enjoyed the series so far and you are watching right now, it would significantly help me if you left a like. Because all of you guys have been leaving likes, it might not seem like a lot because you might look at it and go, wow, a K to 2K view. A K to 2K views with the amount of watch time I'm getting from you guys watching and enjoying the series is quite a lot. And the likes and dislikes are actually pushing my episodes and videos in general back out so you guys are amazing thank you i appreciate it so much and uh, it absolutely means i can keep doing this because for a brief amount of time there i thought i couldn't anymore but we can so um yes transparency it's great isn't it uh i make money doing youtube and the bare minimum of uh, a series that hopefully you guys can enjoy and uh yes and uh, you guys are hopefully happy, and I'm happy, and hopefully everyone's happy, and uh, yes, I hope that bare minimum, I didn't mean like I do the bare minimum, I mean it's the bare minimum of me to do this for you guys. Um, I'm just digging a fucking hole now, so I should just shut up. <laughs> um, I guess we're starting off by killing the blood dragon. Now at this point, <laughs> with combat, um, with combat, I am just dragging rending the dragons, and I'm doing... What? Did I not? We're doing two light swings and a power attack. Uh, thankfully, I have gained a lot of stamina. Uh, so, my stamina regen is quite meh. But, what? Why isn't it... Why isn't that working? I think we can get it to half health anyway before it changes anyway. Yeah, we can. So anyway, yeah, leave a like, leave a dislike, guys. They both help. Um, leave a comment. Um, or don't. 
I just hope that you enjoy watching. So thank you. But anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now. That's the longest I've drawn one of these episodes, but that's only because I didn't expect, honestly, so many of you. Like, even if it was only three of you, that to me is just so many people looking for something else, and I really appreciate it. So I'm really glad that everyone has come to like Grog. So <laughs> I like Grog. I've become connected with Grog. Grog can take on dragons on Legendary Skyrim. I just want to remind you, we're on a Legendary. You know, companions aside, we were outputting a lot of damage there. We've got a lot of spells, you know, we've got good regeneration, we've got good amount of points and everything. We're level 32, guys, you know. We have a house, we've opened up quite a bit of the map. Like, look at this. You know, we started a lot of quest lines, we finished the main quest. Alduin is no longer a threat. We have a dragon that we can call, we can keep dragons on the ground to fight us. We can summon Dramora Lords with, with Daedric Artifacts. Like, we can do a lot. And look at that. Only 18 episodes and 15 and a half hours of a playthrough. And look where we are, guys. You know? I think that's really cool. Now, Riften is full of wolves and spiders and bears. Um, thematically, it makes sense because this is a very nature-orientated area. I mean, all of Skyrim is very nature-orientated. But this is, if you can hear a weird noise... It's scratching my arm on the corner of the wooden table so it sounds like i'm scraping my flesh off um it's probably because i am <laughs> um yeah i very rarely use this sprint crit pack especially not on low enemies like wolves there's literally no point and um, they die very fast so and we have a lot of stamina now we can actually sprint for quite a bit so but as you can see there is a lot of wolves oh my god i nearly hit him I'm really glad we didn't there because I was kind of scared we would. I was born and raised. Oh, he's the farmer who gives us the quest for the Imperial Legion or the Stormcloaks. So, um, there is a quest up there uh, later for us going to. I'm just going to unlock the cave in case we do come back here later. I remember that sometimes the um, Fighters Guild can send you out here for a random quest. So, not the Fighters Guild, sorry, the companions. Um. God, I remember, man, when our first episode came on this, and I remember all the, like, questioning and stuff like that, because it was expected, you know? I never finished any of these playthroughs. And all you guys, like, to just think of how nice it's gotten, it actually literally makes me want to cry. It's just so kind of all of you. So, we have not leveled up magic, uh, our magic skills all that much. We haven't leveled up our archery uh, all that much, only a bit. Uh, we have quite a bit to do with our character, man, you know, if we wanted to. Now, remember, you level up skills by the amount of damage you output. So, as you level up, you want to be sure to keep putting points and upgrading the gear you're using. Even if that gear is technically spells, you want better spells, you know? If that gear is a two-handed weapon, you want a better two-handed weapon. You want to upgrade that two-handed weapon. You want to make sure that you are constantly improving, okay? Um, I'm not sure too much what Canis Root really gives us but we're gonna head into dayspring canyon and see what we can do here you know maybe maybe we can do some interesting stuff with um maybe we can do some interesting stuff with uh crossbows you never know maybe that could be the archer we do i do like crossbows they are slow firing compared to um bows and arrows but they are also very fun to use in my opinion <laughs> it's still very warm in ireland at the moment we are absolutely sweltering heat uh and in germany it's actually supposed to be up to like 40 degrees celsius nearly uh, it's like 37 but like the reason i'm just saying near 40 i'm just rounding it up uh, i've never experienced heat like that before ireland has never the highest heat that ireland has had was recorded at the top of kill this is a really fun fact it was recorded at the top of kilkenny castle um in the 1800s and it was recorded at 33 Point three degrees Celsius and that is the highest that Ireland has experienced and that was well before I was even born so let that sink in that some of you guys get that on what can be described as a cold day uh, I don't know what it translates to Fahrenheit so because you guys are like a thousand four hundred and thirty six Fahrenheit <laughs> I don't understand that system so I'm sure some of you can convert it you little maths whizzes and um, let's go on and get this dialogue out of the way with uh, I'm again. I'm not going to be following the quest too closely because uh, I don't really have a reason to. I'll be honest. Um, uh, I've done this many, many times. Uh, to join the Dawn Guard? What will I join? Don't know. What do you guys think we should join? You pick. 
<sighs> I'm not gonna pick my finite choice this episode. This is absolutely more of just a prep startup, just like the first episode of the series was. Um, I'm not gonna do to the entire quest er, or episode of Dawn Guard. I'm also gonna start up Dragonborn. See what you guys all have to say and stuff, you know? Um, I think that'd be the most interesting thing to do. Uh, Alright, let's favorite this, and then we're gonna put crossbow. Have we got something at number four? We have Sanguine Rose at number four. Do I have something at number five? Yeah, we have flames. I don't think I have a one equipped, actually, so... I remember I said we would get bound um, sword, but we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that very much later. Can we get training actually? Hey, Jimmy got some training already, boys. All right, so Eastran is a heavy armor trainer. That's interesting. Okay. So uh, we need to let these guys finish their dialogue before we can really start doing much. So uh, I'm gonna let them do that. All right, so he we've now. Found something for you to do, eh? Yes, he did, like Kellen. So we have got ourselves a crossbow, and we are good to begin doing this. Now we have some gourds and potatoes here, but I have no interest in getting gourds. There isn't anything too interesting with gourds that I like getting. Um, <laughs> now arrows and bolts can be crafted, so you can craft bolts. Um, I don't know how much I'll use it. I'll use it a bit as maybe a, a ranged uh, initiation into the fights I do. But that's about it, really. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, Companions Hold. And we're going to start with the next quest with Skewer and have him go and die or something. Um, do I want to be a werewolf? Do I want to be a werewolf? Do I want to level up being a werewolf? Do I want to level up being a vampire lord? Well, that all depends on if you guys want me to do the Dawn Guard or the vampire lord. Now, mind you... I think I've only completed the Dawnguard side once, if I even completed it once. And I've completed the Harkin side, I think, once. Yeah, once each. So, Dragonborn I've finished, I think, three times, two or three times. But I get very bored playing through Dragonborn, as I've said, so... Um, that's just me, though, okay? That doesn't mean you're bored doing it, all right? I know some of you are going to be like, man, Dragonborn's... No, Dawnguard is the best. I don't care what you say. Eat shit, bitch! My opinion is absolutely final. Uh, I'm joking, by the way. It's not actually final, so... I'm just going to get some random training and see how it feels uh, on our character as we go along, because, hey, you know what? Getting a lot of skills to 100, that sounds interesting. Skewer, wake up. I, I literally don't care if you are a leader. I'm going to wake you up. This is a All right, answering. so. Try not to disappoint. So we have this quest to do now, which is another interesting quest where we get um, Farkas uh, over at Dustman's Cairn uh, to do a quest with us. <laughs> but as I said, we're also going to start with Dragonborn. You know, have all these things ready and starting and going and just a lot more options for our character to go at the moment. So, so like we have the companions right now. Uh, so we have him following us now. Lydia is going to head back to either, excuse me, Dragon's Reach or a house. I'm not sure which one. Uh, but we've got to get the fragments. So next up, we're going to head to... We're gonna head to Solstheim because as I said, I would like to unlock uh, Dragonborn. We can uh, have access to new ingredients, some interesting quests if there's any. Um, you know, stuff like that. So again, it's good to have these options for your character because again, I'm still oblivious to a lot of the stuff that Dragonborn gives you in general. I have played a lot more of Dawnguard, but I have played a lot less of the DLCs than the main game. I'm much preferable of the main game in general. Than the DLCs, although I do love Hardfire. I won't lie, I'm pretty sure Hardfire is my favorite DLC. I usually spend the most amount of time doing that DLC, but that's just because I like building. Like, I like the Sims games and stuff, so... Um, they have a lot of snowberries here. Um, I like having these farms as well. Like, I like having farms all across of Skyrim because there's a lot of different ingredients in them. Like, usually you'll get the, like, rough same groups of, like, potatoes, um, cabbages, like, I didn't in cold places you have snowberries. In the warm places, you have Blue Mountain Flower, Purple Mountain Flower, stuff like that. Um, I think you get explosive ammo, you, ammunition, and armored trolls and huskies for doing the Dawn Guard, if I'm not mistaken. Um, wheat, again, wheat is a, is a must-collect, guys, because, you know, 
potions. So Blue Mountain Flower, there is a lot of supply of uh, Blue Mountain Flower out in the White Run region in general. So, uh, and there is a lot of weed here. Probably should have come here earlier for potions and that, but again, I haven't really... It's only been one or two instances where I've really struggled to not have enough potions, so... Yeah, it's not a big deal. Um, these episodes probably won't be extremely long either, just because... Um, I have a lot going on now getting ready for this trip and stuff, so again, uh, they're not going to be like 15 minutes, but they probably won't be like 30 to 40 minutes long, but we will get a lot done in them, don't worry, I won't leave you guys completely hanging with like stuff. As you can see, we are making progress. I mean, this is essential to progressing our character in my opinion, so um, I was attacked by some cultists and I need you, we were attacked by the cultists so long ago when we first went to Iverstead, if you guys remember. Right, so I'm going to let them bring us over. All right, so we made it here. I'm looking for Mirak. Do you know him? Um, not really, actually. I just realized I don't have to talk to him, so. Um, all right, well, we have it now. We've unlocked it. And there's also a house you can get here and stuff, which is very interesting. But the quests that are in this place can be very uh, difficult. Now, like I said, Zulstheim has new ingredients. Um, because Bethesda like to craft their worlds manually, so... When they put the DLCs into the game, they didn't give any... Um, Looking for any potions? They didn't give any new, what's it called, ingredients in the main area. Like, they didn't plant Scathecrow or whatever that Rudy shit was. Um, um, in, in places. So, oh yeah, oh, Trauma Root, that's it. Trauma Root, that sounds like me. <laughs> oh, never mind. Um... <clears throat> okay, so let's uh, like there's no reason to do the Legion like the, the Civil War I don't think anyway, so All right, we have Dragonborn we have the companions we have Dawnguard um, Hmm Report to Mirabel Irving. I mean we could start the College of Winterhold, but I've been doing the College of Winterhold on um I've been in the college Winterhold on um, uh, my 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 adept mage, uh, my adept Breton. Uh, it's the character I stream, and uh, and that's where I've been doing that. So uh, I don't. The only thing I can think that could possibly warrant me doing this quest line is for Sabos Aaron's gear, uh, which is the Archmage robes. Uh, the Archmage robes are essential. Essential if you were doing magic on legendary like the first thing you should be doing is this quest line And you shouldn't be struggling. You should be orientating everything you do around this quest line um, This quest line just has essential gear for you as a mage I am not going to make you watch the tolf your part here. So again, we're gonna get right through this part We now have the college winter hold properly started as well. We have a lot of quest lines opened up to us now and a lot of possibilities for some upgraded gear and some stuff for us to do. Let's make a proper save here. So, uh, the these are, are the big quest lines and guilds, as you all know, are seen as like the, the main do kind of thing and stuff. So, um, the reason I like doing the side dungeons and stuff because it's a nice way for us to level up. So, we haven't fought a, a Wisp Mother yet. So why don't we do Frostmere Crypt and 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 get through that? Um, you know, Frostmere Crypt is fun. I, I like these side dungeons. They're fun to do. Like, I don't really like just being optimizing for just the main quest and stuff. Like, I think it's really fun to do stuff like this. Um, side quests and side content in general are some of my favorite in RPGs. In my opinion, The Witcher 3... I much prefer the side quests in at times the main quest. Same with games like Kingdoms of Amalar and, um, you know, a lot of different games, especially the Elder Scrolls and stuff. Okay, so, sorry if there's a cut. Just, if there's a cut, ignore it. Let us very slowly empty. Are we still... Even with... Like, to be fair, look, we're not dying nearly as fast as we were, so... 
you know, it's not that big of a deal. And again, look at us now, guys. Like, look at that. Look at the damage we're dealing to, to enemies like bandits now. Like, bandit outlaws, they feel quite normal. Uh, and, like, look how much we heal for with fast healing and stuff like that. It's pretty awesome. I know I say it a lot, like, look what we do with this and look what we do with that, but I, I can't stress how much you should give yourself the little wins you have and things when you're playing through this game. Now, I'm only going to check chests. I don't really bother with the lower bandits anymore because the four, five, six golds, uh, they don't really add up to uh, be worth doing, you know. So, blah, 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 blah. Ba -ba -ba -ba. What's through here? Oh, this is where we come out, so. Hey, baby urn! Alright, so let's go take out these bandits, see if we can find any skill books along the way. Um, it's a bandit plunderer. How can we deal with the bandit plunderer? Let's see. Uh, we have Farkas. Let's use our alteration spell. He's not gonna hit us, but I think we're outputting okay damage, but I don't really know how much we'd be able to take, because... Again, he's focused on uh, Farkas, so the next dungeon I'm going to for sure do is Farkas. I might see, can I actually do a dungeon on my own? I'm interested to see. You know, we're level 32 now. You never know. If we can't, we'll go back to using companion until we get better year later. Again, I don't mind struggling and nearly dying and stuff um, in the game. What I don't want to do is, is keep having to reset saves and stuff like that. Um, that just doesn't sound very fun for me or for you guys, let's be honest. So, the Red Kitchen Reader, we haven't upgraded Sneak at all. So, they are definitely some... There's a, there's a lot of skills that we definitely shouldn't waste training on. I know I got two points in one-handed earlier, but that was just because I was finishing off the thing. Um, so, we got Kier's Log, because, again, we are uh, doing a quest line here called the Pale Lady. We are actually going to have the ability to get a very cool sword at the... Uh, end of this um, It's not that good past the early game and it's not good if you're not playing on lower difficulties uh, He's hitting us with a two-handed sword and we can handle it with alteration. You've seen that hit there, right? So Again, I'm probably gonna get rid of flame soon if I am gonna keep doing this. I might as well use firebolt Because this seems kind of pointless Um we don't do a lot of damage, so uh, I highly recommend not using flames like I am. Also, we're not getting any boosts to XP whatsoever. I really hope we get to a point where we're one-shotting bandits, man, just by hitting them. All right, will this bandit thug hit us? Again, thugs aren't even that big of an issue anymore. Uh, he, You have to actually attack us, bro, you know? Yeah, yeah, we can... Honestly, bro, with a stockpile of health potions, I genuinely feel like we could handle a dungeon. I'm very excited to try it out, so... Uh, and again, you guys don't have to follow what I'm doing to the absolute T. You can do your own little things as well. Just remember, like, you know, you can adjust your characters. You don't have to play an orc. You might not want to play an orc. You might want to play a wood elf. You might want to play a Dunmer. You might want to play something a bit different. And that's perfectly okay. Um, oh, nice beheading, so... <laughs> the reason I don't want to upload... By the way, I will have this done like a couple of days before I go on my trip. The reason I don't want to put it up is because I want videos while I'm gone on my trip. Uh, now, if I have an extra video or something, I'll put it up. But tomorrow, or the day after, the day after that, or the day after that, I'm probably going to spend it um, putting the videos up, getting thumbnails made. And I have to trim the videos down, render them all. So it's going to be a lot of sitting up late doing that. I want to make sure they're done. As I said, if it seems to some of you that a thousand people watching isn't a lot, to me it's everything. It probably means everything to me right now. Fuck, man, I got hit by the goddamn trap. How did I manage to do that? I've not died to a trap yet, bro. Run, it's only a baby bandit. Run, Fergus! Fergus! This is the open chest, isn't it? Yeah, it is. There's nothing interesting in here because linen wraps do nothing to help us. Now, honestly, man, I wouldn't mind getting, like, fire breath, like, stronger and stuff. We do have one of the frost breaths. Um, yeah, without the alteration spell, we will die. So, stone flesh is definitely a must add. But if you think about it, where that armor rating is, think about when we get our actual natural base armor rating up to where stone flesh puts us, and then use stone flesh. You know? We're gonna do really good, I think. 
So, um, let's talk to Kier. We actually made it to the end of the dungeon already. This dungeon was a lot shorter than I thought it would be, so we're gonna make a proper save here because, you know, um, very scary Wisp Mother and very scary Khajiit. That is a Wisp. Um, we're going to summon a uh, Dramora Lord. We're going to Berserker's Rage, Alteration, and see how we deal with a Wisp. Mother. Be oh my god, Jesus Christ. Okay, whoa. Have we got any resistance? Holy crap, we nearly died there. That was very scary. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my, okay. Oh, bro, I am very terrified right now. And I'm very slow. Please stop. Holy Christ, wisps are so annoying to fight. It's not even funny. Crit this motherfucker. Get him, Farkas. Let's put the Jamora Lord behind her. Close the gap. Can we stagger the Wisp Mother? Come on. Come on. We nearly have her, bro. We nearly have her. Oh no, the fucking Jamora Lord. Yeah, let's go, bro. We got the Pale Lady. GG easy, boys. GG easy. So, the Pale Blade. So, the Pale Blade. I meant to read it there, so... Target takes 15 points of frost damage and 30 points of stamina damage. Weaker creatures and people flee for 30 seconds. The reason I'm not a huge fan of it is um, because of that, so... Now, you can put it back on the sword stand. Um, but the quest is done. The pale lady's dead. And you know me. I am a dirty hoarder. So... Guess what? I'm gonna take it. Oh, there's a shout! I forgot there was a shout in here, bro. Ice form, dude. Don't we have? Is it ice breath or ice form we got before? Oh, it's frost breath. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No biggie. No biggie. At least we get this big chest of loot. Ooh, a sapphire and a Wakeland stone. Now the Wakeland stone comes from Creation Club content, but a lot of you should be getting Wakeland stones anyway because a lot of the things with the Wakeland stones and all them uh, kind of uh, pieces of loot, they go free quite a lot. So I love how it decided to try and attack us one more time. There is a chest under here, which you know me, I am a dirty hoarder. I have to open every chest. So um, I can open this. Adept locks are beneath me at this point, guys. Okay, I'll have you know. Uh, glass war axe. Ah, not too shabby, not too shabby. And we got some soul gems, so... Um, another handy thing about... Excuse me, uh, Argonians, is they can breathe underwater. So, there isn't many... <laughs> there isn't many areas in the game where needing to breathe underwater is a must-have. But... Uh, it can be useful in some places. I find Oblivion has far... Um, far far more things uh, with water included. So, uh, I need to sneeze. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, let's see. We'll... Um, my game... Apologies there, but my game decided to freeze, as it usually does. For unsuspecting reasons, absolutely past me, but we will not question it, my friends. We will not question it one single bit. If the game decides it wants to freeze, then the game decides it wants to freeze. What can we do? We cannot decide for Skyrim what Skyrim wants to do, so... Um... Yes, <laughs> it is what it is. It's Oh, we're about to be attacked by some wolves, and one of them is probably going to get stuck in the house. That's usually what happens, so let's grab all our ingredients, because every time I come here, I'm going to be redoing this uh, old farming and pottery session that we do. So, um, man, I tell you, this is the absolute perks, the absolute perks of having a, a farm. It is a fucking blessing. Alright? Like, an actual, actual blessing. 
Like, I really can't stress enough how... Oh, yeah, our stuff finally uh, respawned as well, so... Like, you absolutely should just have a farm like this. Because we I don't care... Oh, my God, Farkas, get out of my face, please. Holy shit, man. That was terrifying. You definitely... Uh, you definitely benefit in so many ways. It's not even funny, so... Um... Oh, we have some hiding ingredients here, so let me quickly... I know you guys love watching the bars go up, so... Let's click on the Mora Creep Cluster and the Scaly and make a couple because, yes, it goes up a lot. Uh, do I have Blue Mountain Flower and Wheat? Yeah, there we go. Even more health potions. We already have quite a lot of health potions, but... You can never have too many. And when are we ever overprepared in this game? Let's be honest, guys. We're never overprepared. So, uh, I'm not complaining, okay? I'm not complaining that for once we're actually good to, to sort this out. So, um, let's see. Bleeding crown, blood crab, garlic, imstool butterfly... Ravage Magicka, Butterfly Wings, oh, all the clicking, and we're still learning new, we're still learning new stuff, and because we have the Skate Crow as well, which is a new ingredient, some of these could be health potions, you literally don't know, that's the, the wonderful thing, sadly, ingredients like um, Wisp Wrappings, we don't get too often, so when they don't work out for us, it's usually very sad, uh, now, Let's store anything we don't want in here. I know I have an armory and stuff, but like I said before, I kind of just wanted the bare minimum of what I needed and nothing really extra. So I'm going to put the claws in here because I just realized I don't need them. And I'm holding a couple of them. So if we need a claw, like the ruby one there, it won't drop. So we'll put that in there as well because that weighs something. Um... Until next time. Any ingots we have as well. Actually, no, we'll use the ingots I got, and I might see if we can, uh, next time I try some of them bows and stuff like that. So, I am going to leave my guy off on white run, and... Um... Wait for a day. Okay. So, we should be good to go here. So, we're going to leave Grog here today. Um, I appreciate you all watching. Thank you, guys. Make sure to leave a like if you liked it. And make sure to check out the other episodes and playlists if you missed any. But I look forward to seeing you next time. I'll see you later.